Court urges the government to take more action against China's continuous buildup in the South China Sea. But Manila's envoy to Beijing insists the Philippines has been raising issues related to the disputed territory with China. More from Willard Cheng. Being brave and taking a step. Maritime law expert Jay Batong Bakal is not impressed with the results of the bilateral consultation mechanism where the Philippines and China discussed issues on the South China Sea. For Batong Bakal, the lack of action from the Philippine government has allowed China to establish itself in the disputed area. This despite the country's win in the permanent court of arbitration. Here just the government to take a consistent stand. One of the key lessons from Vietnam really is that just because you're small doesn't mean you can't do anything. Vietnam uses all available means of diplomacy, party-to-party -party talks, confrontation, yes. no? uh, everything, the whole spectrum. Philippine Ambassador to China Chito Santa Romana reiterates Manila has been bringing up issues with Beijing amid reclamation and militarization in disputed waters. Santa Romana says the Philippines has taken a quiet approach but described discussions as frank and candid. This includes bringing up harassment of Filipino fishermen. Santa Romana also credits the high-level engagement of President Duterte and Chinese President Xi Jinping in restoring access for Filipino fishermen to Scarborough Shoal. We have managed, in a sense, through diplomatic talks, through bilateral talks, to diffuse to a considerable degree the level of tensions there. So that now our fishermen are able to, fit, to fish peacefully. Santa Romana adds the blockade in a union shoal and Pagasa have been lifted as well. We take them on their word and ask that the access be restored. And that's what happened. The same is true for the overall situation in the West Philippine Sea. China has not expressed willingness to recognize the Hague ruling. Santa Romana insists the country has not surrendered territory, even as it pursues friendly relations with China in other aspects including trade, the economy, and tourism. Willard Cheng, ABS-CBN News.